Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul video and these are just some items that I got from Kmart, Sports Girl and Lush. So if you guys want to see what I got, then please stick around and keep watching this video. So the first place that I went to was Kmart and I got two bags full of stuff from Kmart. So I'm going to start off with the pretty much empty bag first. The first item in the first bag were these two white ceramic tumbler containers. These are normally used to hold toothbrushes, but I bought these two to separate all my mascaras and liquid eyeliners into one and then all my brushes into the other. These were $3 each. My room is turquoise and white, so I wanted to get white to go with everything else in my room. If you guys want a room tour of my room, then give this video a thumbs up and I will film a room tour for you guys so you guys can see what the rest of my room looks like because at the moment you can only see what's behind me and I don't know, you may want to see what the rest of my room looks like. So if you guys want to see that, give this video a thumbs up. So the next item that I got was this Mason mason jar or masonary jar i see that a lot of youtubers actually have these like i know that zoe and alfie have these i know that pretty sure tanya burr has these as well i only got one um just because i don't know if everyone in my family would drink out of one but this cost me two dollars um i wasn't going to pass up a awesome drinking cup for two dollars i think it's just very retro I really like it. So in my second bag from Kmart, I got these two candles and they're vanilla and jasmine. They smell gorgeous. These cost me $3 each and I don't know, I just wanted to get some more candles to put into my room because I love candles and these ones smell absolutely amazing. I thought that these ones went with the colour theme of my room, really. That's probably one of the reasons why I got them is because they... Candles come loose from the cup. Mm -mm. So the next three things that I got are all makeup brushes and they're by the brand e.l.f. Eyeshadow C brush and that's what it looks like. Next brush I got was the brow comb and brush. The next brush I got was the bronzing brush. I do already have a bronzing brush, but I prefer brushes with longer handles because I can control it a lot more. And this one cost me $6. This one cost me $3. And the this one cost me $8. Um, all the white handled ones are under $6. And all the black handled ones are $8 and over. So the next thing that I got from Kmart was just a pack of 30 makeup wipes. I thought it was really stubborn to get makeup off my face using the green tea wipes. So I just went and got the plain makeup wipes. And I'm going to see if these work any better. And if they don't, I definitely won't be repurchasing this brand again. This cost me $2 from Kmart. The next thing I got is a lip pencil. I've already got three of this brand, but in different colours. So... I got the Maybelline Color Drama Lip Pencil in the shade Fab Orange. I absolutely love Maybelline lip pencils. I've fallen in love with the other three and I honestly, I probably wouldn't purchase any other kind of lipstick pencil. If these ever got discontinued from any shop, I would be completely devastated. This was $9.75 from Kmart. So it's 20 cents cheaper at Kmart than it is at Big W or Coles. Okay, the next two things that I got were lipsticks. And I've never heard of this brand before, but I think I got them because the packaging looked really nice. They're by Fifth Avenue, like a company called Fifth Avenue. And I got the gloss stick in the shade Heavenly. And I got the lipstick in the shade Berry. Never heard of this brand, so I've never tried these products. I'm really excited to see how well these work and see if they're worth purchasing again. So I will get back to you on these. And these guys were both $6 each. The last thing that I got from Kmart, I've been looking for something like this for a while. 
I've been on different websites and everything and people just want way too much money for them and I just wanted something simple. I went onto the Kmart website, saw that they had one of these and I was completely shocked at how much it was and it is a beauty mirror. Now this was $7 from Kmart, it's not massive but it does have the two sided mirror like the normal vision and then three times up close vision. I only got this because when I do makeup tutorials I don't have to try look around the camera or the tripod and make myself look like a complete idiot doing it. I'm going to show you what I got from Sports Girl and now I only got one thing from Sports Girl but, but I'm really excited that I picked it up. It was on sale and it really really suits the weather that Australia is having right now. It's one of those knitted headbands that you cover your ears with. I really like the colour of it, it goes with my natural hair colour, it's really warm. I tried it on today and I absolutely fell in love with it straight away so I had to purchase it and I am so glad that I did. As I said I got this on sale and normally they're $20 but I got mine on sale for $6.95. So after Sports Girl I went to Lush and I bought one item from Lush. Um, I've never tried this before but I saw that All Right Hay was using it and I'm pretty sure Zoella uses it as well. Is the Bubblegum Lip Scrub. Um, it smells absolutely amazing. My friend actually tasted it today and she said that it tasted really good. So I'm really, really excited to use this. Um, as I said, I've never used a Lush product before so hopefully it lives up to the hype that everyone has given it. This 25 gram pot of lip scrub cost me $9.95. So guys, that was today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I got. If you like this video, then please give it a massive thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share this video around with your friends. Also, don't forget to comment any suggestions or video ideas that you want to see in the comment section below. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button and become a part of my weekly Sunday hangout. I have also left my social media links in the down bar below for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and my blog. So you guys can go check me out on there or don't go check me out on there. Either way, they're going to be down in the description box for you guys to go check out. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today and I hope I see you guys next Sunday for another hangout. Bye!